Aaron Thomason, uh, good start to the season for yourself um, in a previously unfamiliar role at the top of the order. Um, that's been going well. How did it come about? I think it just come from uh, working hard, really. I think um, over the last couple of years, I think my batting's um, improved quite a bit. Um, to be opening the batting, I'd be lying to say, oh, I expected it. Don't think I did. Um, certainly come over, over the hard graft in the winter, um, working with Souls and Kurtz and other backroom staff to get where I want to be, really. And luckily for me so far, it's uh, paying off. When did you first have that conversation with um, Ian and James about potentially taking uh, taking the, the, the first um, first opportunity at the top of the order? Well, I think it's established quite early. I mean, certainly top three. Um, and then as the winter went on, facing the new ball uh, in the marquee, which was, which was lovely. Um, I think then it, it was quite apparent to the coaches that I was uh, capable of facing that first ball um, and doing it confidently, really. And how have you had to change your, uh, your approach to batting to, that, to suit that role? I mean, I think across the board, batting, it's the same, uh, it's the same fundamentals from, from 1 to 11. Um, obviously, the ball's going to do a bit more early doors. It's just having the patience and the resilience to be able to um, sustain it over a period of time, really. And it must be uh, it must be really satisfying to be given that opportunity, and then, like you say, so far have uh, you know have shown some some really good signs in that position. Um, I guess it's a position you'd like to you'd like to keep throughout the season. Yeah, it's brilliant, mate. I mean, the, the greatest thing about it, I think, like, you get more um, reward than just um, your personal gains. So, like high scores, you get you get more for it. So, putting getting through the new ball, putting partnerships on with the the other opener. Um, there's more to it than just having personal success, which is uh, quite a nice feeling and also takes um, some of the pressure off of scoring um, a lot of runs really. Obviously you, you want to score as many as you can but it can't always go your way so having them other, um, other bits of success can help you mentally and help the team. Uh, and talking about teams and partnerships, you formed quite a, quite a good um, duo with Tom Haynes at the top of the order. You enjoy batting with Tom? Yeah, it's brilliant, mate. I mean, luckily for us so far, that in each game, one of us has, uh, either one of us has succeeded, um, which is a great position to be in. We've put on like, a few runs now, which is also nice, obviously, because you become um, sort of in sync with each other, really, and how you, how you go about things, the pressure situations, how to deal with them. Um, and as I say, hopefully you can keep keep going that way and we can keep putting more runs on at the start of the innings for the lads. Yeah. Um, saw a video yesterday of you in the nets against um, Jofra. Is that as terrifying as it looks? Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, not, uh, it's not the most exciting uh, thing to be facing, I, I've got to admit. But it's a great challenge and I suppose who, who better you're going to face um, in the nets than Joff. It's, a, it's another good challenge. Uh, to take you forward as a player um, and also just keep striving as a team really. I think it's great to have Joffa around for however long he's going to be about for. So if we've got the chance to face him then I'm happy to do that. When you first um, came into the Sussex side um, in 2019, um, you see more of as a bowler but is, 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 is bowling something you're still f working hard on, focusing on? Yeah, I still love bowling mate. Um, I think. It's something I've got to bowl my time with. We've got quite a lot of bowlers in the squad. Um, I, still work, I still work really hard um, trying to nail them skills down um, and hopefully my, my chance will come. Uh, whether that's red or white ball, I'm sure I'll be ready to take that chance. Uh, close catching is another thing um, you're playing a big role in the team. Um, talk us through that one-handed grab uh, against Yorkshire last week. Oh, I've got to be honest, I think it's actually downhill at home. It's actually quite hard to see because it comes out the flats. Um, and sometimes just instinct, isn't it? Like they always stick or they don't. Uh, as much as I'd like to say it's a great catch, it's uh, a lot of it's just instinct and it sticks. So, luckily for me on that occasion, it was uh, it was quite a nice feeling. And it looked like you almost sold a dummy. You went one way and then had to come back to with with the one hander. Yeah, as I say, it's quite hard to see out the flats when it when it um, becomes a bit shorter. So, as he hit it, I didn't actually pick it up straight away, and then saw it at the last minute. And as I say, just stuck a hand out and it stuck. And is, um, is being in the slips and, and uh, under the helmet at short leg or, or silly mid, that's, that's a job you relish doing? Yeah, I love doing it, mate. It keeps you in the game. Um, I think also it's something you've got to want to do, when that, even, like, whether that comes to training and 
uh, working really hard doing it or and then taking that into a game and obviously trying to get the success of what you bring in from training. Um, I think, it's, as I say, it's something you've got to want to do and you've got to love doing it, otherwise it can be a very, very long, uh, very long time in the field. Um, but yeah, as I say, you've got to be a bit of a madman to do <laughs> short leg, haven't you? Um, and you've been working hard with Sarah Taylor on that. What's, what does she bring? And, and also I understand um, she's your flatmate, so um, no doubt if you, if you perform badly, you don't hear the end of it. <laughs> nah, she's all right. I mean, having Sarah around is... Uh, like really exciting for me personally and really exciting for the club. I mean, the, the experience she's got as a, as a keeper and, and as a person in life as well, um, it's actually really, really exciting to have her around. Um, and what she's brought to me technically, a long stick uh, at short leg, uh, is really starting to help. I'm not making out for one minute I'm the best short leg in the country. I think I've got a long way to go yet, but um, as I say, every little helps in training and hopefully I can keep working hard and getting better and better. Looking ahead to this game uh, against Lancashire, um, a good draw up at Old Trafford and obviously with this small squad, young squad, Sussex had a, had a positive start to the season, I guess more of the same um, uh, against Lancashire when they come down here. I mean, mate, yeah, it's, it's really exciting, um, to, as you say, to have a squad so young, but uh, at the same time so, so willing to learn and, and work hard. Um, to play the black brand of cricket we have uh, so far this season, um, it's, it's amazing really and hopefully we keep doing that, doing the right things on and off the field, week in, week out, we'll have a lot more success come the future. Um, as I say, it's a great opportunity for, for the young lads to, to come in and show what they can do, show what they've been working hard on over in the winter. Um, yeah, and really, hopefully, let's pray for a bit more success. Been at Sussex now for for a couple of years, um, but it sounds like you're you're enjoying life down on the south coast. Yeah, I love it, mate. I mean, uh, it took took a, took a while for me to sort of fit in, um, but I mean, I'm I feel one of the lads now, which is nice. I feel at home, um, and as I say, I've, I'm just loving my loving my cricket at the minute, and um, hopefully it stays that way. Oh, we love having you, Tom. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers.